Without the clubhouse, I wouldn't be here today. I struggle with schizophrenia. We are all going through similar life experiences. What we want to do is say, you know what? I have mental illness and I'm thriving. This is about helping people understand that they can succeed in a structured, work-ordered environment. This is Anne's Den, the most powerful intervention I've ever seen. It takes people off the street, it takes them out of the hospitals. I think the club gives people hope, and that's a huge thing to give somebody. We are as one here, we're a team. Together we thrive. My son became ill about 11 years ago. He was 19 years old, he had graduated from high school, had a very successful high school career. When he entered college, he began to sense that something was very wrong. For nearly 10 years, he was struggling with this. About six months ago, he became more interested in his own recovery and he saw for the first time in a while that there was a different future available to him. The clubhouses are designed to be a clear alternative to traditional mental health services. The focus in a clubhouse is not the symptoms at all. In fact, there's no discussion about a person's diagnosis or the symptoms a person has. The idea is that clubhouse sets up a community to give them structure, a place to go, a place to be with other people, a place to build their social skills, their work skills, and their ability to interact with the public. My wife and I had been invested in the, the North Star program, even without our son being here, in hopes that one day he would be ready to walk through the door. Jeremy realized that people are actually not just surviving, but thriving with peer supports and activities that show that members add value to the community. And it was just a very important component in what we see as a remarkable recovery effort. Before I found the clubhouse, I was lost. I was isolating because I figured my life was over. I had no purpose. And North Star really brought that purpose out. The camaraderie that can be had on the teams and uh, meeting the people and being with people that have gone through trauma and being able to relate, it really empowers you to, uh, to move forward in your life and uh, get back to being the person you really are. Peer support is one person in recovery from mental illness helping another person. It's all done by Clubhouse members, and it's something that will play out in the community. The people who are here, they take these values and these skills and the confidence that they go out into the community, they work, they contribute, and then they turn around and they help other people. I think the specific community that we've built here, which is really about, um, we're all you know, in this together, we're, we're all peers, we're all um, helping each other and encouraging each other, is just so inspiring. I'm really excited that the Nutrition and Wellness Unit is thriving. We focus the meals on healthy meal choices and trying to make it easy. We do meal planning together, we do budgeting together, we clean up together, we eat together. So it's a really organic way of tackling nutrition and wellness education. And then people are bringing the skills and the knowledge that they maybe forgot they had um, from past experiences and they get to share them with each other and sort of re-empower themselves and re-empower each other uh, to take back their health. It's a member-driven, work-oriented program that recognizes the values, skills, and capabilities of people and not the baggage they carry from having a mental illness. You're learning how to interact with another person. You're learning how to work on your interpersonal skills. You're learning how to resolve conflicts. And you take those skills and you transfer it. You start applying for jobs, start building up that confidence, and then you go back into work. That inspires others who are here and who are looking to go back to work. So it's a cycle, cycle of positivity. There are people that maybe have been isolating for years and haven't been working and maybe need a more warm handoff to more permanent employment. So one way to do that is with transitional employment. The members that have come through North Star have absolutely thrived in our environment. 
Ian is truly a success story with North Star. We have him doing light janitorial work around the admin office. He's a really great culture fit too, and I really appreciate that from North Star. Always a smile on his face, always a can-do attitude. He's just a wonderful addition to our team. I think the greatest thing members derive from the club is a sense that if you take away that constant discussion about their disability in the club, I think what they do is they discover that they have many more skills and much more of a future than they thought they did. The rewards are huge for us as we kind of see that transformation go on for people. It's very rewarding. This is the blueprint for how to recover positively. I've met some of the best people in my life here. I've felt the best that I've ever felt about my life here. It's just been a life-changing experience for me. North Star has given me a lot of hope for the future because I know I have a place to go. I know that I will be able to succeed in whatever I do because I have the backing of North Star. This place, the, these people have given me um, meaning and purpose, uh, the beginnings of uh, a higher self-esteem, more confidence, and I think this has just given me new hope. I would like people to know that the folks with mental illness are walking amongst us every day, that it is a, a chronic condition that can be managed, that can become a secondary part of a person's life. I'm just pleased to have my son back, and I missed him. <laughs>